Britain says it will take a UN report extremely seriously, which says its military ally, Saudi Arabia, could have committed crimes against humanity in Yemen. The report finds evidence of systematic and widespread attacks on civilian targets, including hospitals, schools and mosques. The kingdom is one of the biggest buyers of UK defence equipment. Arms sales to the country totaled over $4 billion in the first nine months of 2015. British forces have been in the Saudi command and control centre for the strikes on Yemen. The UK Ministry of Defence says they're only there to offer training and advice. Well, for more on this, Miriam Francois joins us now from London and uh, she's been following this story. Miriam, um, how significant is this report then? Well, it's pretty significant given that until very recently, the British government had denied that its ally, Saudi Arabia, had been involved in war crimes in Yemen. Uh, of course, there is a, a long-standing civil war in Yemen, um, not least since the uprisings that began there in the wake of the broader Arab uprisings in 2011. But certainly this report gives fuel to those critics who have been arguing for a long time that Yemen has been involved in uh, the non-discriminatory uh, and systematic targeting of civilian targets uh, in Yemen. Uh, and now there's obviously evidence to substantiate that claim that this amounts to war crimes. Is the report likely to have any impact on the Saudi-led coalition and their strategy? Is it going to change things on the ground in Yemen? Well, the question, I think, is whether it'll uh, put pressure on uh, allies of Saudi Arabia, those who, in particular, have been providing weaponry to Saudi Arabia that's been used in these uh, targeting of civilians in particular. Uh, we might recall that uh, last year it, that included uh, a Médecins Sans Frontières hospital. Uh, and, of course, there's evidence in this report uh, of uh, mosques and schools also being targeted. Um, now, the, the question for the British government is the increasing pressure that's coming on it for its relationship with Saudi Arabia. Uh, most recently, earlier this month, it came uh, under criticism for providing uh, weapons and support to Saudi Arabia after its execution of 47 individuals. Um, and it has also been criticized for not taking uh, more seriously allegations of funding by Saudi Arabia of extremist groups. So certainly this report will be the, the latest uh, in uh, a recent uh, array of um, reports that the UK government is uh, in need of reconsidering its relationship with its regional ally, Saudi Arabia. Miriam, thank you very much for the update.